Vicky Mani this is Ask a Mom and as usual I have a very special guest here Hi my name is Mama Abi Rachel Kimani and I'm glad to be here thank you Abi for having me I uh, thank you for no. being have I uh, thank you for coming yes yeah thank you for having me I feel sleepy in English <laughs> Okay uh well if you new here it's why I ask mom Uh, a bunch of interesting questions the questions can even come from you guys uh and they can even come from some of my age mates uh as in if you have a question to ask your mom but you're too afraid she's the one to ask right here so yes <laughs> let me go on to question number one. <clears throat> are you ready yes i am how long were you in labor three and a half hours Mm. It was quite brief though. It's it was it is not a straight. Wait, so how long is the usual? Uh it just depends. Some people have been in labor for long. So you're telling me the hours is short. Yes. I'm going to cry. But it was not just short. It's a story and a half. It's because before before you were born I was already in labor before when I arrived in hospital I was already in labor so the real actual labor was three and a half hours okay yeah. um what made me laugh the most when I was younger <laughs> uh, there was this thing um and your brother still laughed about it you saw you saw like an advert and children were like They, they were talking about a soap a particular soap huh? and then you always <gasps> <laughs> so we we always wondered what is so funny about this you laughed a lot and then yours is not usually a laughter it's like a contagious laughter a giggle and everyone gets into it for no reason <laughs> yeah yeah that one <laughs> that one <laughs> stop okay uh If you know the ad comment below it was a sunlight mom it was for sunlight mm. okay no you don't even use yeah, sunlight yeah i don't, I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> okay um what age of mine did you dislike experiencing the most i'm not sure I think when she says 14 I think all stages come with their many joys and a few challenges. Yeah, but which one is your least favorite? Right? You know the answer. Yes, I do. I'm trying to Say. remember. <laughs> it's uh, basically it's not even the 14, it's not even the 13. Mm-hmm. It was actually before. It was just uh, before you turned 7. Because okay. that's the stage when you are now uh realizing Oh, I am now a child who can think. You now a 7 year old is this one who thinks ah, the world has just unfolded to me. I know so much about the world and now I have to be in your world. But before 7 there about there's work, work to be done because there's a lot of training, uh, a lot of training in shoes, brushing, the school you know the preschool the, the lower yeah. the lower primary mm. oh man do you come home you don't have a sweater where is your sweater i don't know it was stolen maybe i still don't know why children do that uh if you came and you left your you left your your bag there was this uh, may god bless the chador cast mm. yes you know you remember her i do you would leave your school bag in school And that teacher would just come with it and say oh she forgot this bag she was your angel during that time yeah. that was a challenging time 
but I also learned every, like I say, every stage comes with challenges and joys. It's up to any parent to enjoy that. Mm. So when your child forgets a bag, please don't call them. I don't tell them they don't have this. Mm. It's a stage. Yeah. They are going to remember their bags. So yes. Even me, I don't remember for getting my bag. And if you forget right now, you'll go back for it. There's no teacher. There's no me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A topic for debate. Uh, have you ever lost me? <laughs> <laughs> like you're in a supermarket, then you're like, huh? Where is Abby? Not quite. Yes and no. And what about what about not say Nebai because I know Nebai was yeah, Nebai, notorious. I've never lost Nebai <laughs> in church and I think mostly in church until one day I thought, is he trying to play Jesus here? Where <laughs> parents are looking for him and he's saying, don't you know I was in my father's house? So we go to church. Uh, Sunday school is finished. Mm -hmm. He decides. Um, that time in our church, <laughs> where the field was, there was a pool of water. Then he decides, he's going oh, there. Yes. yes, you remember? Yes. He decides, Sunday school is over. The main church is not over. I'm going to play. Then for baptism, I'm No, you found the latest. There was actually a pool in the field. Oh, at okay, the bar. Yeah, exactly. When you trained, they used to be like, like, was yeah, a, like pool. a pond. Well. And uh, a pool of water. He decides I'm going there. I will never. Mm -hmm. Sorry when you watch this video. <laughs> and um, we are looking for him all over the church. And then he comes and says, Why were you looking for me? See, I was just there playing. Then he's all wet. <laughs> then another time uh, he would decide I'm going to be left for this program. He was still young and doesn't tell us, but he would, be, he would join a church program. Then we're looking for him everywhere. He said, I was just here. Yeah, but for you, we we have an issue. We find you too quickly <laughs> because when the Sunday school is finished, shh, shh, I'm here. No, and I'm usually the first one yeah. to the car because, like, after Sunday school, I'm at his church straight to the car. Yes. <laughs> but now I, I stop. You don't go talk to people. Mm, you're growing yes. up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. And today's final question: What is the nicest thing I've ever said to you? That you love me. Aww. And Aww. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> that, this baby. And that, uh, that you love me and that I am the best mother and that you appreciate me being uh, your mom. And I think it's even my tone has changed. <laughs> anyway, I think. Uh, uh, children outside there, you may not actually realize that your words matter a lot. Have you ever told your mom that you love her? Have you ever told your mom that you are glad that God made her your mom? Have you ever told your mom that you appreciate her? Have you ever told your mom thank you? Have you ever told your mom that uh, she works hard? Have you ever told your mom that you're glad that she loves the Lord? Those are some of the things that uh, apparently you may not realize this as a child. Your mom does not want you to do things for her. Your mom does not want you to just go around doing things that look so beautiful and nice. We appreciate those ones. But when you tell your mom, I love you, maybe, maybe all over, when she goes outside, she has a boss who doesn't appreciate her. She has a colleague who doesn't appreciate her. She has a job that doesn't even appreciate her by giving returns. Just try this, tell your mom, I love you, mom, so much, genuinely. Don't tell your mom you love her when you want something. Just tell your mom, I love you. So that's, that's one of the nicest things that Aww. I keep on hearing from me and I appreciate. Oh, thank you. You I are love welcome. You. <laughs> hmm? uh, <laughs> Don't stretch the truth. Son, so my chum. <laughs> Let me just end here before we chum no more. Uh, this was Ask a Mom. If you enjoyed the video and if you liked mom's answers, then her channel is surrendered with Rachel Kimani. So you go ahead and subscribe to her channel and mine as well. You can actually, as a, as a teenager, as a child, you can also comment here and say, what are some of the things that you have said to your mom? And she really melted and she really felt, I'm so glad, I'm so honored to be my child's mom. And vice versa. Also, 
Yes, very Parents should tell their children. Yes. Yes. Now I'll see you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.